What is up? How are you today? Steve here and in this video I'm going to be answering your diet questions from Cora. So let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button now before you do anything else. If you're not new here, you know this is of course Food Friday and just like the other videos this week, I'm going to be answering questions from Cora. Cora is a question asking website where you can log on, create a profile and just ask people questions. My profile is centered around fitness, so I get fitness questions. On Monday I did mindset questions, on Wednesday I did workout questions. For this Food Friday video, I'm doing food questions. So without further delay, let's dive straight into it. Question one, what is the ideal amount of time to fast with intermittent fasting to lose weight? Now what I'll say about that is there is no ideal amount of time to be honest. The most common well, one, before we even go to that, let's explain intermittent fasting, because when people when people hear intermittent fasting, they think starving yourself or something silly like that. And it's just not the case. Intermittent fasting is literally just a way of limiting the amount of calories you can take in during a day. It's a really popular way of dying. It's a really popular way of dieting. People like Terry Crews have done it for years and years and seen great results. When I started my cut, I tried using intermittent fasting for the first time. So I looked up everything I could find on it and decided that the best one for me was the 16-8 intermittent fast. So for eight hours during the day, from about one o'clock until about eight o'clock, I'll eat. After that or before that, I don't eat anything. I'll have black coffee or drink some water. What this does for me or anyone who does do intermittent fasting is it limits the amount of time you can be eating during a day. People preach a lot of like magical benefits from intermittent fasting, but in all honesty, it's just harder to eat more if you have less time to do it. If like me, you have a calorie limit of about 2,200, it's much easier to stick to that when you don't have a full day to do it. So if I was eating whatever I wanted all day, I could hit three or 4,000 calories. When I have an eight hour window to eat in, it becomes easier to stick to that calorie goal. To return to the question, there isn't really an ideal amount of time to fast. Most people do 16, eight. Some people do 24, four. Some people take a full day off during the week and just don't eat. It's personal preference really. Whatever works for you will be the most ideal time. And in terms of losing weight, the important part is that you know your calories, you know your macros, and you hit those targets throughout the day during your eating window. People can eat three, four, five thousand 5,000 calories in your eight hour window. So unless you know exactly how many calories you're supposed to be eating, intermittent fasting is useless to you. Figure out your calories, set your times, give it a go for a week, and see which one is the most ideal for you. If you're confused on how to work out what calories you need or calculating your macros or anything like that, stick around to the end of the video because the last question in this video, I'm going to go through a full calculation in order to answer a question. Are supplements necessary for an athlete who trains three to four weekly days in a moderate way? First of all, are supplements necessary? No, supplements aren't necessary. They're supplementary by definition. Get all your macros and whatever from your diet and then add on some supplements if you feel you need them or you need help hitting your target. Supplements are literally supplementary by definition. You don't need them, regardless of if you're an athlete who trains three, four or five times a week. Supplements do help. Things like whey protein is a great way to hit your protein macro. Pre-workouts are awesome for an extra boost of caffeine when you just don't feel like going to the gym. Creatine is an awesome supplement that in my opinion, every lifter should be taking. But are they necessary? No, not really. It's personal preference. Are there any vitamins that you exceed the recommended dose of on a daily basis and why? I don't do it intentionally, like I don't set out to eat more vitamin B or vitamin whatever. But do I exceed a few? Yeah, I exceed vitamin C and vitamin D3. As I explained in my supplement video, I supplement D3 because I live in Ireland and it's not a very sunny country. And I also have a fruit shake every morning with things like pineapple, kiwi, banana, and I get a probably about 150% of my recommended dose of vitamin C out of that. Are there vitamins I exceed? Yes, vitamin C, vitamin D probably. Why? It's just how it happens. I haven't intentionally tried to overload on these vitamins. Can teenagers take creatine? Yeah, absolutely. Anyone can take creatine. Uh, what I would say is wait until you are 18, probably. Obviously I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist or anything like that. I can't recommend people take any particular supplements but what I will say is probably wait until you're 18 until you've been lifting a while and you're kind of you've sorted out your diet and you're looking towards supplements before you start things like creatine but can teenagers take it absolutely how do I start eating more healthily 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 how do I start eating more healthily habit 
in one word, habit formation. My habit formation video, linked above if you want to check it out. Just start by doing something small, a small actionable strategy that you can work on every day. Like my usual grass smoothie every morning. Still tastes horrible, still don't like it, but have I gotten used to it? Yes. Do I have it every morning? Yes. Do I feel better? Yes. Am I now a healthier person? Probably, because I started with a little habit that I do every day. I worked upon it for weeks and weeks and weeks, getting 1% better every day. After a while, you just get used to it. It's the same with any sort of healthy diet. If you want to eat more vegetables, eat more fruit, try out some new food or recipes that are considered more healthy, just do it. Take the leap, start one day, do the same thing every day for a week, two weeks, three weeks, and build up that habit. Once you're in the habit of eating healthier, it's kind of hard to get out of, to be honest. So how do you start? Just start. And if you keep it up for a while and make it into a habit, you'll be healthier before you know it. Okay, so let's do a calorie calculation for this question. This guy is 18 years old, 5'11 or 6 foot, high metabolism, bit slim. He wants a diet plan so that he can gain weight and muscle. A lot of people go to personal trainers or dietitians with these kind of requests and they're very simple to work out yourself. You don't particularly need a professional for the first step. Obviously when it gets more complicated or things don't work or you stop seeing progress for a long period of time then obviously turn to a professional but for something like this this is really easy for you to do yourself. I have a whole playlist on how to do this that you can check out after this video if you want but right now let's just do his calculation for him. So he's 18 years old, 5 foot 11. If you go onto Google and Google what's called a TDEE calculator, so this is your total daily energy expenditure. What your TDEE is, the amount of energy or calories that your body burns in a day by just existing, by going about your day, doing whatever. Fill in your details there and you'll get a number. This number is probably around two and a half thousand 2250 something like that especially for this guy and what he's looking to do is put on weight so he wants to go above that the main thing you need to know is if you eat the same as your tdee the calories going in is equal to the calories going out so your weight will stay the same if you eat less than your tdee it means you are expending more energy than you're putting in which means you lose weight if like this lad here you want to gain weight you have to eat more than your tdee so the energy you burn during the day is less than the energy that you're bringing in and you gain weight. It's literally as simple as that. Now, in terms of the actual numbers, like I said, he'd probably get around 2,500 or so. He needs to go into what's called a caloric surplus after that. So eating more than his TDEE. What most people would recommend, and it's what I recommend as well, a surplus of 200 to 500 above that TDEE in order to gain weight. So if he gets 2,500, he might try eating 2,800 calories every day in order to gain that bit of weight. A common misconception is people saying gain weight or lose weight. Weight is made up of muscle and fat. So if you want to gain weight, you could just eat whatever you wanted. You could eat 4,000, 5,000 calories every day. Would you gain weight? Absolutely. Would you get super fat? Also absolutely. If he just wanted to gain weight, he could just eat a shit ton of calories. But like most skinny guys, his goal is to gain muscle. In order to make sure that the weight he puts on is mostly muscle and not fat, he'll have to focus on his protein macro as well as his calories. He should be taking in about one gram per pound of body weight in protein every day. So if he weighs 160 pounds, he needs to be eating 160 grams of protein every day to make sure that the weight he gains is muscle rather than fat. His calories will ensure he gains weight, but his protein macro will ensure that this weight gain is mostly muscle. All of this is super easy to work out for yourself. I have a whole playlist made in it. Check it out, it'll walk you through it step by step. You can do the whole thing on your phone uh, with an app called My Fitness Pal. If you got value from this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'm nearly at 100 subscribers, so I would greatly appreciate you subscribing after this video. If you have any more questions about today's topics, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to reply to you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. The music I used in this video is by a Limerick artist named Lucas. So if you want to check him out, I will link his Instagram in the description. He's got some really good stuff.